To most people, the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle are the same. They almost have the same height, same shape, and appearance. But that's the magic word, almost. Despite being alike in so many ways, they have different characteristics. One might even be more suited for families. So, how will you know which pooch is the best one for you? Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Today, let's look into two of the best doodle dogs on the planet, the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle. Which is better for career-oriented people? Appearance The Labradoodle is a medium-sized dog with a long coat that can grow up to six inches. It doesn't only come in brown or black, it also comes in silver, coffee, parchment, gold, red, and blue. Some even have dual-colored coats, also known as party coats, which include phantom, brindle, patched, and sable colors. These creatures have floppy ears and sparkling eyes that come in hazel or brown. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, is much larger than the Labradoodle. These creatures have round, broad skulls, long muzzles, and dark, oval-shaped eyes. In some cases, their eyes could come in blue or green. Their bodies are well-built and muscular if they inherit the body of the poodle. But if they inherit the body of the Golden Retriever, their bodies will have a deep, accentuated chest, a wide stance, and a muscular tail. Origin The Labradoodle was developed in Australia as a hypoallergenic service dog. They were first bred in 1989 by Sir Wally Conran, who was in charge of the Royal Guide Dogs Association of Australia. He wanted to breed a poodle and a Labrador retriever to combine their personalities. To his surprise, the breeding was successful by creating an intelligent and affectionate dog. According to the American Kennel Club, the Golden Doodle is one of the newest types of doodle dogs in the world. The breeding of this dog started in the 1990s when people in Australia attempted to breed the Poodle and the Golden Retriever. Breeders wanted to create a large type of Doodle, but maintain the low shedding traits of their cousins. When they saw the results, more individuals attempted to combine the traits of the Poodle and the Golden Retriever. Size Male Golden Doodles have a height of 25 to 29 inches and weigh from 60 to 90 pounds. Females, on the other hand, can grow up to 25 inches and can weigh from 60 to 85 pounds. Male Labradoodles can grow up to 24 inches and weigh up to 65 pounds. The females, on the other hand, grow up to 23 inches and weigh up to 50 pounds. In choosing a doodle as a companion, it's important to determine their size. This will indicate how much they need to eat in a day. So, in keeping a doodle, make sure you have enough money to feed them. Lifespan The Labradoodle has a lifespan of 12 to 14 years, while the Golden Doodle has a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. You don't see many dogs with a long lifespan, so if you were to get these doodles, you know you can spend a long time with them. But you have to make sure you can cater to their needs. Personality some Labradoodles incline towards the personality of Poodles. They are reserved, smart, and quiet. However, they are prone to rowdy behaviors. They slowly mature and can be stubborn at times. To unleash their positive traits, it's better to foster positive reinforcement as early as possible. The Golden Doodles are highly sociable and very affectionate dogs. However, they can be shy and fearful. To prevent this, Expose them to sounds, sights, and people. This way, they can accustom their senses to specific sounds and activities. Shedding Coats The Labradoodle has a longer coat than the Golden Doodle. They have sparse and wavy locks that contribute to the elegance of their bodies when they walk. They might have a longer coat, but they're still hypoallergenic. They have single coats that are either wool or fleece. Woolly coats are dense and similar to a lamb's wool. It doesn't shed much, and it's not prone to odor. A fleece coat, on the other hand, is straight and silky. It's like the texture of the Angora coat. 
The coat of the Golden Doodle can either be smoothed over, loosely curled, or messy looking. It's the reason why they're often called the dog teddy bears. Their coat comes in different colors, such as sable, silver, cream, black, brown, red, and blue. These creatures have very low shedding potential. So, if you want to have an indoor dog that doesn't shed much, this pooch is for you. Grooming Despite being low shedders, Labradoodles still need to be groomed to prevent matting and tangles in their hair, and they need a regular bath to prevent dirt and fleas. Their coat should be brushed two or three times a week. If you need assistance to care for their hair, you can hire a professional groomer and have them clipped after six to eight weeks. Because of the Golden Doodle's low shedding tendencies, grooming the dog doesn't take much effort. However, you still need to keep their coats lush and healthy. These dogs have a dense double coat that is prone to matting and tangles. It's best to brush their coat a few times a week to prevent these. Better yet, hire a professional groomer every 8 to 12 weeks for a more effective way of grooming their hair. Intelligence The Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle are both intelligent dogs. The Labradoodle is raised as a service dog and a therapy dog. They can be trained to help people in need. Plus, they can be taught basic doggy etiquette. So, if you want someone to help you with chores, the Labradoodle is for you. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, is trained as a working dog. Aside from being effective retrievers in hunting, they are also trained as sniffers, guide dogs, and therapy dogs. If you have allergies and you want someone to detect it for you, the Golden Doodle is for you. Trainability both of these dogs are highly trainable and intelligent. They have an amazing skill in decision-making and concentration. However, you need to provide ample mental stimulation to keep their minds sharp and open to commands. With regular training and socialization, you can train them and teach them dog etiquettes to make them outstanding service dogs. Temperament The temperament of these two dogs is affected by their genes, training, and socialization. If raised properly, both the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle can unleash their full potential. These dogs don't have a high prey drive, so even if they live with smaller animals, they don't display aggression. In fact, they are warm to other animals. They are very welcoming, loving, and friendly. However, if you spoil them, they can develop small dog syndrome. This is a human-induced behavior that makes a dog feel like he is the boss. If your dog develops this attitude, it will become a picky eater. Plus, it can be overly jealous of other animals. To keep them from developing these negative behaviors, it's best to provide them with the socialization they need. Family Life The Labradoodle is a versatile family dog who will do everything to show their affection and loyalty, especially to children. However, they can be hyperactive and exuberant at times and might injure or hurt our kids. So, before you let them babysit, make sure to socialize and train them properly to keep them from being overly active around children. These dogs can be left alone and will be patiently waiting for your return. However, you need to give them something to occupy them like a chew toy. This will keep them active to prevent boredom. The Golden Doodle is also an amazing companion and an affectionate family member. They can be playful, but are also very obedient. These dogs love human company, so much so that if they are left alone for too long, they experience separation anxiety. If you were to own this dog, it's important to give a relative amount of your time to bond with them. Apartment Living Apartments are not the ideal for the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle. Seeing how energetic these dogs are, they do not thrive in confined spaces. They prefer to expend their energy doing various activities to keep them satisfied. If you're asking which can thrive better inside apartments, the Labradoodles are better in adjusting since they have a lower prey drive and lower exercise needs. Golden Doodles, on the other hand, cannot dwell inside apartments. They need to live in a place where they can run and expend their energy enough to satisfy their needs. Friendliness Towards Strangers With proper socialization and training, Labradoodles and Golden Doodles are both friendly to strangers. 
They don't display aggression. They don't even bark often. Actually, they are very warm and welcoming towards other people. If you have visitors at home, they are likely to play with them rather than be aloof towards them. Watchdog Ability Labradoodles don't make the greatest watchdogs. However, they will warn you if they ever hear something unusual. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, might not even warn you at all. Because of its low barking tendencies, you shouldn't put them on the spot as guard dogs. Tolerance to Weather Both these dogs are tolerant to warm and cold weather. Because of their thick coat, they have insulation to keep their bodies warm during the winter. However, they have low tolerance to warmer temperatures. During the summer, it's important to keep them hydrated to prevent heat stroke. Health Like other dogs, the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle have their own health issues. The Labradoodle is prone to elbow dysplasia, hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and progressive retinal atrophy. They can also contract ear infections and allergies. So, you have to be mindful what to feed them. Also, make sure you regularly clean their ears. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, is prone to patellar luxation, von Wildebrand's disease, and hip and elbow dysplasia. They're also often diagnosed with obesity and skin allergies. To prevent these, it's best to consult a vet regularly so that they can advise proper ways of how you can care for your pooch. Caring for these pups can cost up to $500 to $700. So, if you were to get one, make sure you can fend for their needs to give them happiness and health. Both these creatures have wondrous traits. Whatever you choose, I'm sure the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle will do everything in their power to make you happy. With their gentle and affectionate nature, these are two of the best dogs to have in a lifetime. Thanks for watching. Have you figured out which dog to get? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Also, please like the video if you find the video is useful. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more to come. And we'll see you next time.